At this video, we will look at how use transition and use different value hooks work. First, let's look at our app. Here, we are generating 15,000 elements via the loop. Each element has its own ID and title. In our functional component, we output our elements. In FGS, we use useState to set our filter. Also, we are receiving our data here, then we declare function filter items, which filter our items based on our filter, and we pass them to our functional component. Finally, there is an input which writes our filter. Let's have a look how it works. This is how it looks like. We can type something in our app and filter items, and we can mention that our input is a little bit laggy. Let's even slow down our CPU. We can open DevTools and simulate CPU six times slower. Now, input works worse. We must wait a lot to clear input. Use transition hook helps to solve this problem. We can tell React that some updating operations have a high priority. Also, we can use use transition hook in functional components. And separately, we can use start transition function in cases when we can't use hooks, for example, in class components. Let's check this. Let's import use transition hook from React and start transition function from React. We will use use transition now. Use transition hook returns an array with two elements, is pending, boolean value, true or false, and start transition function. Now we wrap our set filter with start transition function. So we are telling React that it should be treated with a lower priority. Let's save and look at our app. Now input is more responsive than before. It's empty almost immediately after we press delete. And we can see that the list is rendering below. The same magic works with slow CPU. We clear our input and the list is rendering separately. Now let's look how can we use the first is pending value. Is pending can help us to show any loader while the list is rendering. Let's save again and look at our app. Now when we are deleting input or typing in it, we can see our loader. Finally, let's have a look at use different value hook. It's useful when the values come from above and we can't control it with set state. The only thing we have to do is to import use different value from React and pass our products as a value to this hook, and then use different products for mapping them below. And let's comment use transition hook before saving and check how it works. So. We can see that use different value helps us to achieve similar result. Our input is still responsive as before. And this is it. Thanks for watching.